Are you starting a business as a photographer and need a website to showcase your work? In this video, I'm going to show you an easy and simple way how you can showcase your best work and get the clients that you want. And the best thing is, it's totally free and easy to do. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified whenever there's a new video on the channel. So folks, three years ago I made a video called Build a Photo Portfolio Website in under 10 minutes that has now amassed over 80,000 views and since that's still a, one of my best running videos I thought I'd make an updated version for you. Since the things have changed a little bit, the software got a few updates, um, I wanted to give you a quick update how to build a beautiful website for your photo business in 2022. So let's dive into it. So first things first, when I say we're using WordPress to build this site, I don't mean we're using WordPress.com, which is a hosting provider for WordPress sites. I don't recommend using those because they are very limited on the free plan and if you want to upgrade to a paid plan, then they are very expensive. So I would recommend you look for a hosting provider like Bluehost, which is a very common one. It starts from just a few dollars a month that you can pay for to host your website and there you can run the WordPress software which is completely free. So once again, please don't host your site at wordpress.com. Just run WordPress on any web server that you pay for wherever. That's pretty much the only thing you need to pay for in this tutorial, but hosting a website is something that comes with a little cost, but it's just, as I said, a few bucks a month. If you don't already have a hosting provider, I will link some of my recommendations down in the description so you can check those out. But we'll start a tutorial with a fully installed WordPress site that is just blank. So make sure to set up your hosting, install your WordPress and then we'll start from there. So once you have a blank WordPress page there's one plugin that you need to install. It's called Visual Portfolio and it's completely free. You can pay for some pro features but for the sake of this tutorial the free version is perfectly fine. Once again, if you use WordPress.com, you'll struggle with this step already since on the free plan, you can't install any plugins, which is complete nonsense. So once you've installed, I will guide you step by step through the process of this tutorial. So once you have a blank WordPress page installed and set up, you just need to install one plugin. This is called um, Visual Portfolio and you can find it by clicking on plugins and then add new and search on the top right corner after visual portfolio and it should pop up in search as pretty much the first result. Yeah, let's write this one here. Hit install now, wait for it to install and after it's been installed, also click activate. So next what you wanna do is create a homepage first. So basically when WordPress starts as it used to be a blogging system. It starts with your uh, blog post as the front page. So you want to create a new page um, to put your portfolio on. So we're going to pages, um, clicking the add new button and I'm gonna call this um, portfolio. For now just hit publish and again publish and that's it. And then we're going to the appearance tab over here and choose a theme. Whatever is chosen here, make sure it's your WordPress is up to date and you choose the 2021 theme, so the, um, the one that comes with WordPress itself. Um, make sure this is activated and then continue by going to, again, appearance here and customize. So the customizing options are being displayed here on the left side. And we're gonna start with setting the page we just created as our homepage. So we're going to homepage settings and choose your homepage displays a static page. And then here we can choose which page we wanna show the visitors. So we're gonna create, uh, choose the portfolio page we just created. And on the right hand side, we can see a preview of the page we just created, which is by now completely empty. Um, you can, if you just chose the 2021 theme, you can also go into the colors tab and change your background color. This default one is a slight green. I chose 
uh, a white color or you can maybe go with gray or black, um, whatever you like. I'm going with white for now and at the end hit publish again. Another thing you might want to edit since usually there's the title of the website um, should be a little more compelling than portfolio or just another WordPress site. You can go to the site identity manager and um, maybe put your name in here or maybe something like um, professional photographer um, and then maybe your name, which would be for me, Philip Kozicki. And you can see the results just here on the right side. So that's it for now in the customizer. We have a basic page set up. Um, I'm gonna hit publish here again and then exit the customizer. And when we go up here and choose visit site, then you can see we're gonna be directed to our homepage, which is still empty, but um, we're gonna start from here. If you like this video so far, make sure to hit the like button and leave me a comment down below. So let's get back to the video. So the next step would be to go back to the dashboard and go to the media tab and upload our media. So the photos we wanna show in our portfolio. Um, go to the media tab and I have prepared some photos already um, that I'm gonna upload now. So I have a bunch of them here. I'm gonna drag them over to my portfolio side. Um, we'll just let them upload and once they're finished, we can continue with building our portfolio site. So this tutorial should cover also showcasing your video work. If you're a photographer, maybe you're also doing video. Um, in this part of the tutorial, make sure to only upload photos. I'm gonna show you how to use videos in your portfolio later. So by now, please only upload photos as the video workflow is a little bit different. So once the media is uploaded, uh, we're good to go. Um, as I just said, if you want to showcase some videos, the, the workflow is a little bit different. So um, in case you only need, want to show your photos, you can skip ahead. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick how you can set up um, a portfolio item with a video. So we're gonna move over to the visual portfolio tab and we're gonna see that we can add new portfolio items to our list. So to show video work, um, you need to create individual um, items for those videos. So um, we go to the add new button and then add a video. So we're just going with video example. And what's important is that um, you need to choose on the right hand side a post format for video. So um, you can choose a bunch of different ones, but to show your video, you of course need to choose the video. And then you get a field right below um, where you can put a URL. So maybe you already have a YouTube channel where your video work is uploaded. Then you could paste the video URL here. Um, so I'm gonna grab a video of my YouTube channel very quickly and um, paste the URL there. I'm gonna go with this teaser here, um, copy the link and add it to the URL field. And what's very important, if you want a clean display of this video item, it can't automatically load the thumbnail of, of YouTube. Um, you need to create a separate featured image for this portfolio item that you put in here. So I'm gonna go with um, this video, I'm gonna open it up for me and just create a quick screenshot of the video and use it as my thumbnail. Just make a screenshot. and put this right here. So once this is done and uploaded, just hit set featured image and it's gonna use this image for this portfolio item. When you're finished, uh, hit publish. If you wanna add some more information about the project, you can type anything here um, and let people know more about the project. I want to share, of course. Um, so hit publish 
and you're good to go. If you have multiple video items, yeah, you can repeat this process. And if you also want to share videos and photos, you will need to do this exact uh, this process with photos as well. Um, with the photo post or with the photo portfolio item, you of course you don't need to change the port post format. Uh, you only need to put your featured image in there, and then you can also type um, a description, and you're good to go. So that was the part for the people that want to add video to their portfolio. If you only need photos, I'm gonna show you how you can lay out your photos on your portfolio page now. So head over to pages and edit the portfolio page and then you're gonna see this blank page here. So as you see, it already says type slash to choose a block. So um, you can start pasting anything in there by typing a slash, so I'm gonna type a slash and um, for me, what I'm gonna do is take the tiles. So this is a predefined layout by the Visual Portfolio plugin. Um, I'm gonna click on here. As you already see, it prompts me to choose some of my um, portfolio items. So I can either choose the posts, which I just created for the video people, or the images from the media library. So we're gonna go with the images as it's much easier to just upload images and then let the portfolio plugin pull these from the media library. So I'm gonna hit images and choose the ones I want. So I wanna start with this one, this one, uh, maybe this one, and just all of them, put them in here, hit select, and as you can see, there's all automatically a layout being created. Um, and now I can go on and further customize this to my needs. So um, I like to display those things a little closer, like the Instagram style. So I wanna remove, I'm gonna go down to the layout tab and remove the gap by clicking on the middle layer here and removing the gap. If I wanna choose to um, maybe have four by four, um, a grid by, by four tiles, um, I can go in here and choose a different type of tile. So maybe I wanna go with the four by four. Um, but I think I'm gonna be fine with the three by three so we can just check what this looks like. Um, right now it doesn't work for some reason, but anyway, we can just stay with the three tiles, um, no gap. And to me, this looks really cool. So another thing that I wanna make sure is that I go over here into the editing of the block and choose in the alignment tab, the full width. So um, the images are gonna be displayed over the whole width of the site. And um, this works very well for me. So I like this a lot. And let, just, let us just hit update and the page should be updated. So let's have a look what this looks like. Let's go over here to view page and let's look how this site looks. So our work is beautifully displayed here. You can change a lot of different options, like for example, the way the description is being displayed on hovering, or um, you can also choose uh, what, what's gonna happen once you click on the image. Um, there are a lot of different options that you can um, try to mess around a little with. So if you go back to the editing of the page, just choose the any picture in here, and then you can go down and uh, change the item style. So for example, I wanna go with, let's say, emerge. Um, so you can see there's just a little hint popping up here. Um, then I wanna change the background color of this hint to maybe some light white, which isn't 100% opaque, but just 80%. So um, then of course I also need to change the text color to maybe black. So you can do a lot of stuff in here, um, just as you wish. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that and that's pretty much it. Um, what I wanna show you next is how you can put your video items in there. So let's remove this block here again and then 
hit again tiles just like we did before and the difference is that we just can't pull our videos from the images tab since we didn't upload them which wouldn't work anyway but we need to pull it from the post so I'm gonna hit post over here and then choose the portfolio as the post setting here to pull the items we created in the visual portfolio tab and then we need to make sure that we go down here and on items click on action um, we choose not the URL but a pop-up so um, the viewer gets a pop-up with the video so usually this is set to URL we're gonna choose pop-up hit update and we're gonna have another look at the page uh, what it's gonna look like and once we click on here the YouTube video that we pasted is coming up as a pop-up we can look have a look at this and then we're good to go right so to round things up I would recommend you also um, create another page um, with your contact information so we're gonna go to pages add new page name this contact and then just put your data here so I'm gonna put my name here and other data phone number address whatever hit publish maybe you want to put a photo of yourself in there and usually if you didn't change anything this site should also be displayed in your menu um, which didn't work for me right now so I'm gonna show you how to fix this uh, we're gonna go back into the dashboard go to the appearance tab menus and So it appears right up here and once you click on there uh, your contact data is going to be displayed. Make sure links are clickable like your email and the phone number so people can contact you in case they like your work. Other than your contact information what's also very important every website needs to have uh, a legal disclaimer and your um, information who's responsible for the content of this page so make sure to add these as well we're not going to go into detail into those I just wanted to mention it once in case you missed those if you like this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to this channel ring the bell to be notified whenever there's a new video and comment down below if you have any further questions on this or any other topic if you want to know more about photography and the business side of photography if you're starting out right now, my next video coming up is the seven things I wish I knew early as a photographer. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.